Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Reverend Amanda Spence and I'm part of the ministry team here at St Paninus in Crayford. And, um, I'm back in the Lady Chapel for the morning prayer this morning. Very big welcome to all of you. Um, if you know me, hi, it's good to see you. And if, you, if you're new, you're very, very welcome to join us. This is morning prayer taken from the Celtic daily prayer. And if you'd like to follow the words, they're available on the St. Paninus <coughs> website, um, stpaninus.co.uk, and available on the daily prayer page and the This Week page. Also, if you'd like to uh, follow the readings today, um, they are Psalm 119, uh, 144, Deuteronomy 32, uh, verse 47, and Luke chapter 7, verses 1 to 7. Um, but all of that will be, I'll be saying all of that, so you can just follow with me um, if you wish. Um, so it's a very good welcome to you, and it's uh, very good to see you. And if uh, we'll be doing some prayers this morning, and if you require prayer for any situation that's, uh, that's happening with you, and just please let us know. All our contact details are available on the St Polinus uh, web website, stpolinus.co.uk. So let us still ourselves as we prepare to begin our morning prayer this morning. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you see with your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you see with your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So our first reading, Psalm 119. Verse 144. Your decrees are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. The second reading from Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 47. This is no trifling matter for you, but rather your very life. Through it you may live long in the land that you are crossing over the Jordan to possess. Luke 7, 1 to 7. After Jesus had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly and who was ill and close to death. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people, and it is he who built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Therefore I did not presume to come to you, but only speak the word and my servant, and let my servant be healed. This is the reading from um, the Ada readings for today. 
Many a man has grown upright because his tendrils have clung to a cross. By your cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. Say the word, give me understanding and I shall live. I shall not die, but I shall live and proclaim what you have done. Lord, just say the word. Lord, speak it to me. There is power within the word you speak, which is greater than the word itself. Give me understanding. Only you can impart revelation. People may explain to me, but only you can reveal it to me. Even then, in a way that makes me realise it. Realise that the word within my heart. Realise your word in my life. Make it real, Lord, in me. Let Jesus, the living word, become flesh again and live among us. Spoken through our lives to a world that is dying of want of the knowledge of him. Send forth your word and heal them. Let your glory be all over the earth. That's uh, Arthur Burt and Andy Rain. So today's meditation for the Celtic Daily Prayer for this morning. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away with me. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away with me. For though the winter is past, the rain is gone away, come away with me, come away with me. The flowers appear on the earth, the time for singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. Come away with me. The fig tree puts forth its fruit. The vines are in blossom. They put forth their fragrance. Oh, come away with me. Arise, my love, my fair one. Come away with me. Arise, my love, my fair one. Come away with me. Oh, come away with me. Come away with me. We now come to a time of prayer for others. So let us pray. In the name of God and trusting in your might alone, we pray for your healing touch to make us whole. May Christ grant us healing of mind, body and spirit, deliver us from every evil and grant us your peace. Lord, we pray for your world. We pray for your healing. We pray for the healing to the coronavirus situation. We pray for those who are working for cures and vaccines. We pray for those on the front line who are tending to the sick, Pray for those who are sick at this time. Pray that they may know your presence with them. Lord, we pray for this parish of St. Polinus and the community of Crayford and all parishes and communities throughout your nation. We pray that we work together in tolerance and understanding. That we show your word through our actions, Lord. Lord, we pray for those and to us who are sick at this time. In a moment of silence, we remember them to you. Lord, we pray for those whom we have loved and see no more. We pray for them to be at peace with you. We pray particularly this day for Izzy and for her family. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is a light. Illumine and guide me. Christ is a light. Overshadow me. Christ over me. Christ under me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, and in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Christ is a light. Christ is a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.